Great question. Uh, New York, LA, uh, always seemingly in competition, but two extraordinarily different cities and certainly very different than Boston. But let me focus on New York and LA, uh, the two that I'm most well known for in the sense of having had a role in making safer cities. New York, uh, the challenge initially in 1994 was collaboration within the department. It was a department that it was the biggest, it was the best. Crime had begun to go down for the previous couple of years by one or two percent, but it was still not collaborating within the organization and was having great difficulty interacting with the communities it was serving, particularly the city's minority communities. And to this day, there's still some uh, if you will, uh, some lingering after effects of that, uh, particularly around the issue of stop and frisk that you read about so much in the New York Times. But the first essential element was to get the department collaborating, and that's where CompStat uh, came, became so important. The idea of the sharing of information for the goal that we had to meet the vision of a safer city. And that collaboration, uh, because of the extreme power of the police commissioner, one of the most powerful positions in the country in policing, in effect could be almost audited. You are going to show up at CompStat, you are going to talk about crime, and you're going to be rewarded. What's in it for me? You're going to be rewarded if uh, basically you know why crime is up, you have ideas about what to do with it, and if you're not effective, we're going to move you someplace else where you can be effective doing something else, but if you're not good at fighting crime, we need to basically put somebody in your chair. Jim Collins book, Good to Great, get the right people on the bus, wrong people off the bus, and the right people in the right seats. That's effectively what we did in CompStat. The second element was basically, uh, Collins also talks about in his book, the issue of getting the, uh, the flywheel going. You know, it works very tough to get it going. It took us a while to get NYPD was sluggish, but once it started, the enthusiasm what was in it for cops was the idea for the first time they were allowed to be cops in 25 years. Go out and fight crime and fight it successfully, but also take care of those little things that's driving people crazy. The squeegee pests. Oh, we had a book event last night where Tom Wolfe uh, described them as the squeegee, squeegee extortionist. <laughs> so, so Tom Wolfe, with that wonderful way he has with words, he was resplendent last night in the middle of winter in his white suit, so he looks exactly like he does in his pictures. The idea was that. The collaboration in New York was essential internally, initially. And then the flywheel got going, and we began to then, with our successes, 10% crime reduction, 15% crime reduction, people began to believe in the neighborhoods that the 7,000 additional cops they had paid for through their taxes were responding to their concerns, going after the prostitutes on the corner, the drug dealers, the 8,000 open-air drug <coughs> locations in New York the homeless encampments that seemed to be sprouting up in every public park, things that were making neighborhoods fearful and of concern. New York, 8 million people, 38,000 cops, 41,000 for a while, relatively small geography, 300 square miles. L.A., 480 square miles, spread out, 4 million people, half the population, 9,000 cops, I'd have to have 18,000 to have what I had in New York. I didn't have them. So a different type of problem. And the fourth issue that New York did not have, still does not have, in any way near the same scale, gangs. The Bloods, the Crips, 18th Street, the Mexican Mafia, gangs that were taking, uh, when I got there in 19, me, 2002, that in that one year took uh, over 400 lives in that city. Mm -hmm. So the momentum in Los Angeles was to also collaborate within the police department, but also to collaborate with all the agencies that they had been fighting with for 30 years. The FBI, DEA, ATF, district attorney, city attorney, the mayor, the city council, the LA Times. The LAPD was fighting with everybody, and internally, they were killing each other. So it was a different set of collaborations that had to be formed. And in the book, we write about uh, my contribution responding to uh, Zach's guidance about New York and about L.A. and about the differences and the different collaborations. The results were the same, however. 70% reduction in crime in New York, still going down. Almost 70% crime reduction in L.A., still going down.